feels incredible to win this World Building of the Year, you know, and, and a little bit overwhelming, you know, and it's uh, such a great award. I don't really know what to say. Yeah. It's, it's a bit overwhelming. It's a great honour. This project was the result of a design competition and it was a very special project because in Auckland there's an existing art gallery, it's a turn of the century building. It kind of embodies a kind of colonial empire attitude to European settlement. And this new project gave us an opportunity to rethink that, to recast it in the current values, to create a bicultural uh, gallery that could have a much more holistic a relationship and representation of New Zealand society. And our inspiration was the beautiful natural landscape that sat at the edge of this site. And the building, in a sense, creates a bridge and a connection between the natural landscape and the city. One of the great challenges we face as architects in this age is that our materials and our systems are sourced from all over the world. And yet we were seeking to make a building here that was really embedded in this place, in this culture. And so to create these canopies that related to the real identity of the building. We wanted to use a material that was very precious and meaningful to New Zealand. And we used natural cowrie. It's got to be one of the most beautiful timbers you've ever seen in your life. And it's a timber of great significance and meaning to Maori culture and also of significance to European settlers. But of course, it's a protected species. So we could only source it from fallen cowrie or recycled cowrie. And we had to use it very sparingly. In fact, we used it all up. And it was arranged in these uh, uh, double curved forms with a counter geometry of, of circular lines that work across it to allow these forms to be created with single tapering forms of timber, very complex and demanding craft work that was delivered I think by the finest craftspeople in New Zealand. This building in a sense is all about New Zealand. It has the works of great Maori artists embedded in it. It's sourced from the great materials that are available in that country and the true craft and precision of work that is available there too. And our effort was to try and strive to make a building that was transparent in a way that could create a building that was more open and more inclusive, connected with the landscape and a more open interpretation of what New Zealand's future is. Whether or not this project is part of uh, emerging architectural culture in this part of the world is, is, is hard to say. Myself, you know, I was born in the UK, I was educated in Australia and in, and in, uh, and in New York, and I practice in Sydney, and yet this work is in New Zealand. You know, in a sense, uh, I'm, I'm a typical displaced Westerner, and uh, uh, that's a, a burden in a sense, but it also, I think, teaches you to look and to listen and to study carefully where you're putting the building if you really want to create a building that kind of grows out of its place and that can make connections which are real and that, and that have depth.